Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. Welcome to our Word of the Day series where we look at a new word each day and help you to pronounce it correctly in American English. Today's request was from one of our YouTube viewers and the request was for the word curtain and they were asking about the verb form. Uh, the verb and noun curtain are both pronounced the same, so let's take a look at that word. The word curtain, uh, when I use it as a noun, refers to something I cover the windows with, and when I use it as a verb, refers to the act of covering those windows. And it has uh, the vowel er in it. I like to write that vowel sound with the letters er. You'll see it marked in the dictionary lots of different ways. So this is the symbol for a stressed er. The syllable stress in curtain is on the first syllable. So cur is long and stressed, and tn is short and unstressed. So that's one way to mark a stressed r. You may also see it with the letter r and um, a vowel shape like that. Different dictionaries use different symbol systems. The important thing to know is that curtain has an er sound. And so when I build from the er, that can help me say this difficult word. Um, there's a couple of factors that make curtain difficult. First of all, you may have trouble with that er, in which case I would recommend my American R playlist to help you with the R sound. Then um, secondly, curtain looks like it should have more of a vowel sound in the second syllable, like tain. Typically when we have ai, it says the vowel a. But in this case, it, uh, you can see here in the IPA from the dictionary that there is no vowel sound. We go right from the T to the N. And this is what's called a syllabic N. And basically it means that the N consonant sound functions as the full syllable. If I were to write it, I would say that I would put maybe a little tiny schwa in there, a little uh sound, curtain, curtain. Um, when I'm saying that right now, I'm really pretty much going from the stopped T directly into the N. But if I have to say the N by itself, N, N, if there's any vowel sound, I would say my tongue is relaxed and central like it is for a schwa. The other thing with the word curtain, curtain, the way most Americans will say it is that they are going to stop that T. They're not going to say curtain, curtain with a pronounced T sound or curtain with a flap T. It's going to be a stop T, which means you won't really hear the T sound. But I can't leave it out entirely. That would sound like curren, curren. So I have to stop the air with my tongue or further back in my mouth to mark that T sound. Curtain. The easiest way to get that stop T is to feel it by making the T with your tongue. Curt, curt. Just stop the air and don't release the T. Curt, and then you lift the tongue the rest of the way for the N sound. Uh, other words that have this stop T plus N are words like button, cotton, mountain, uh, and for my members, I'll be adding a special video talking about the T and uh, stopped T and syllabic N combination. I do also have some lessons and activities on my website regarding this concept, so if you haven't considered yet becoming a member of the channel, that would be one of the perks you could get is more information and help with this pattern. A similar word to curtain uh, is the word certain and spelled differently, but it has just the S sound instead of the K sound, curtain and certain. Once I can say curtain by itself, I want to start trying to use it in some short phrases so I can say it naturally and fluently in my everyday speech. Uh, so let's see, um, I'd like to get some new curtains for the window. And when I make it plural with the S, it has the Z sound, curtains. Um, the, the curtains are open, uh, those are nice curtains, the curtains are closed. Thank you for the suggestion for the word curtain. If you have a word or phrase you'd like help with, please feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos. I have a nice long list of great suggestions from you, the YouTube viewers, and it really helps me to know which things, uh, which patterns to help you with, which words to help you with. Uh, there is a little bit of a wait, so when you make your request, you may not see your video for a few weeks because there have been a lot of requests, so I'm working my way through in order. If you really can't wait to hear the answer to your question, 
come to our Friday live question and answer class and uh, I'll be answering questions live each week about words that you'd like help with or patterns that will help you improve. Thanks so much for being a part of speechmodification.com. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound American, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye guys. See you tomorrow.